here along the shores of Gaza City in the besieged Gaza Strip. Art, politics, and journalism meet in the pen of Omaya Joha, arguably the Arab world's leading female cartoonist. I was born in the city of Gaza in 1972, but I am part of a family of refugees from Al Muharraqa, one of Palestinian villages that was attacked by the invading Zionist in 1948. Growing up in Gaza, we lived in a very simple home. I remember how the rain used to dribble through the roof. Omaya Jaha reflects in her cartoons the harsh realities of refugee life, which she knows all too well. Our family was dispersed. My father was far away and my mother overburdened with responsibilities. I captured this unpleasant life with my quill even before I went to school. Children appreciate art and understand cartoons. Children recognize me. They know me as Omaya Juha, the cartoonist. Omaya has one daughter, Noor, from her first husband, a Hamas fighter killed during an Israeli incursion. During my secondary schooling, I began reading newspapers and, of course, the cartoons on the back page of Al-Quds, which was the newspaper I read every day. I would see the drawings of the artists Naji Al-Ali and Mahmoud Khail and be fascinated by them, although I was very young. Editorial cartoonists are revered as journalists and artists throughout the Arab world. One of the most recognizable symbols of Palestinian society is Handala, the ragged 10-year-old Palestinian refugee, always viewed from behind, observing the world. Handala's creator, Naji Al-Ali, was assassinated in London in 1987. His body riddled with bullets, his killer never found. Even though he has been dead for many years now, may his soul rest in peace. His pen is alive, and his work addresses many of our contemporary issues. Every cartoonist has his own style. A cartoon is about a single event or moment. Many people will be drawing this moment, but in completely different ways. The successful cartoonist is a person who is sensitive to people and realities around them. Their work ultimately becomes a reflection of life. This is the beauty of the cartoon. It's a kind of competition between artists. Who has the most brilliant ideas and execution? And who is able to sway the public and win them over? Omaya is the sole woman in a club of at least 12 cartoonists whose works are published in newspapers read across the West Bank and Gaza. Palestine's leading cartoonist and elder statesman, the award-winning Baha Bukhari, points to the qualities that underscore the values of a great newspaper cartoonist. His character, Abu al-Abad, appears in the daily al Ayam, published in Ramallah. My cartoons should be uh, speaking about the people, not from political point, not this Hamas, uh, no, the ordinary people. In one instance, one of Omaya's cartoons is believed to have prompted a violent backlash. After an Israeli invasion of Gaza in 2004, she depicted Israeli Prime Minister Ariel Sharon as a boastful politician, oblivious to the dead and decapitated Israeli soldiers standing behind him. The Islamist newspaper Al Risala printed Omaya's cartoon. The next day, the Israelis bombed the Risala newspaper. While badly damaged, Al Risala began printing again, and Omaya continues to be their featured cartoonist. For the first day of Ramadan, 2008, she commented on the bloody Hamas Fatah split by drawing a Palestinian mother on her balcony, praying to heaven that her children, the Palestinians, might eat their Ramadan meal at the same table together again. Unfortunately, we are living in a time when our people are divided and splintered. It's a good time for a cartoonist to become both a commentator and observer and to use one's influence. Omaya is today happily remarried, yet the situation in Gaza has worsened. With fighting between the two main political parties, Hamas and Fatah, 
Omaya is never short of subject matter. The Palestinian division created a schism in every Palestinian home. And God willing, we will overcome those divisions. My hope is that I can leave my imprint in the drawing of cartoons in the Arab world.